All right, we're back here. We cut it off at about 15 minutes. We're going to make another little segment here. I'm just trying to keep this thing going in 15 minute segments, turning it off and turn it on so I can get it up on YouTube, figure things out with her. This one here, she started out pretty easy going, wanting to come back over here and get petted on and stuff, but when you put a little pressure on her, she kind of blew me off, took a swipe at me and just kind of blew me off and doesn't want to pay attention. So, I'm going to work on her a little bit more. This is how I get the feel of these guys and get and judge their personality. I can do it safer down here on the ground. I can apply a little pressure to them, see how they're going to react to it, and then kind of judge from there how we're going to how we're going to proceed. Some young horses are real compliant, and they want to learn and want to be with you and figure things out pretty quickly. She's got a little bit of an obstinate streak in her. Doesn't really want to be here with me. She's kind of liked being on her own. three years. Now she has to play second fiddle. And she wants to try and take over and be the boss. How you start out the first session with these young horses is, and how you leave it is a big determining factor on how they're going to come along in the rest of their training. If you let them get away with this obstinate stuff on the first session and just say, oh, she's just a baby, she doesn't know what's going on, if you let that go on a bad note, and let her think she's won. Then that's what she's going to remember tomorrow. Right now she's thinking just running off is the answer. The answer is being up here with me and listening to what I'm saying.
that time was better. She gave me a little bit of space. Still wanted to leave, but she gave me a little space and didn't get charging off right off the bat. I gotta cut her a little bit of slack because she's probably never had any rope work done either and that's not something that people normally do. But they have to do it with me. Some of the distractions we have up here too, we got a couple mares and foals out here in the got a couple mares and foals out here in the arena and lots of studs and it's springtime and she's not used to being inside. So that's all stuff we have to work through too. She's got to learn to put those distractions aside. And figure out where the best place to be is to make life good for her. And that's over here by me. my point across, I have to be as soft as they'll let me, but as firm as I need to be. For us to both get on the same page here. She'll figure it out. Just a new lesson plan that you're used that you're not used to. Huh? Just a new lesson plan you're not used to. All I'm trying to get her to do right now is encourage her to move her hips away and start coming with me without having to pull her around and use this rope. I've only got the rope on her now 
to try and keep her focus a little bit. And I only use it if I really have to. This horse has been handled some, but mostly on the left-hand side, too. If you notice, when I come over here on this side of her and put on a little pressure with this, she wants to move to this eye because that's where she's comfortable having me. She doesn't want to work on this side of her head and use this eye to think with. So I have to kind of block that a little bit to get her more comfortable over here on this side. I think she's going to be a fun one to start with. She's not going to be a yup yup. But I don't think she's going to be real wild either, once we get her on the right track here. These are the ones that keeps my, my thought process sharp too, because you can't just get complacent because the horse has been handled and it's been a pet and kind of likes people and but they can change their attitude just like any other horse can when you start giving them a little bit something more to think about that they're not real comfortable with. Much better that time. We're starting to pick up on things. How long on that video? All right. We're going to take this rope off for now. Let her relax a little bit. Think about it. And then we'll come back and see how she acts the next time around.
She's not hooked on yet. She's still a little bit defiant. A little bit distracted. But it's not like you see in the movies. It doesn't happen overnight and it doesn't happen in 15 minutes of a movie segment. That only happens in the movies, not out here in the real world. See ya.